2004, from Poland an award-winning family saga spanning 50 years of personal and social turmoil from the uprising to the First World War. Ale sądzę, że mając ciebie potrafię dokonać czegoś pożytecznego dla ludzi. Dlaczego? Nie można być przecież całe życie ekonomą. Ale już oczy dla tych ludzi, którzy stracili swe pozycje na wsi, pozostaje jedna droga. In contrast, the screen version of Tom Sharp's comic novel Porterhouse Blues stars David J. Smith Scullion in proprietorial subservience to dismal students and crusty fellows alike. He's been dreaming of the girls in blue once again. Master dies in his own bed, or not at all. Never been a scholar's college. Character, not brains. This is our ceremony, my lady. We kept Henry VIII waiting for ten minutes. No wonder he dissolved the monasteries. Waterhouse will change. Two from Channel 4's varied drama collection on display this spring. And displaying their wit and wisdom after the break, we have Richard Whiteley and in the dictionary corner, Patrick Mower. In countdown. Swinton Insurance have developed a unique breakdown recovery policy. It covers the car no matter who's driving it. Cover that's not offered to the private motorist by the big two motoring organizations. The Swinton policy uses the services of Britain's largest independent. With national breakdown insurance for Swinton, trained operators and computerized control get help to you extra fast. Should be with you in the hour, sir. Equipped either for on-the-spot repairs or to take you and your car non-stop anywhere in mainland Britain. And all that cover costs less than the big two charge. National breakdown insurance from Swinton, with immediate cover from Swinton branches throughout the country. McFibby's digestive just crumble at sleep. They're wholesome, round and taste the wheat. The world has a passion for its daily ration. And crumble says they're good to eat. Tonight on 4, Paula's continuing struggle to hold Emma Hart's dream. I intend to move us all back to Long Meadow. It's my house, my home, and my children are going to be brought up there. Jim, I want a divorce. First, I thought her ladyship's death was an accident. Later, I began to wonder if it wasn't foul play. Cheated. Set a trap for him. A property deal. What's the proposition, Mr. Perry? It's been some bad news. Not my children. The dramatic conclusion of the dream tonight at nine on four. Now on four, Dreamboat Richard and the gang counting down. Four, three, two, one. Thank you. Welcome once again to another game of Countdown. Now, I know that uh, for many of you who watch Countdown, it is, of course, the highlight of the day. But with all due modesty, I wouldn't have thought you would say you're in seventh heaven while watching Countdown. Well, I've got news for you. One chap is certainly in seventh heaven because it's his seventh appearance as champion, John Marsh. Here he is. Quite a good performance yesterday, only 37 points, not uh, one of his best. His best has been 65, but still he's got six wins under his belt. One, two, three, four, five, yes, six wins under his belt. So seventh appearance there for John Marsh, singer and songwriter, and now famous countdown champion from London. We have another John who's going to challenge him, John Bird. Well, John Bird's hope he's a feather his nest as our champion's expense. He lives in a delightfully named uh, village, I presume it's a village, called Merry Hill, uh, near, near Wolverhampton. He's a drama graduate who's now studying for a teaching certificate at Warwick University. Now, not surprisingly, his interests are musicals and plays, 
He's also pretty sporty. He once did a parachute jump for charity, although he is, of course, hoping that our champion, John March, will be brought down to earth today. So, John Bird, we wish you the very best of countdown luck. Well done. Now, at his very first visit to us yesterday, our new guardian of the dictionaries beat both contestants with the seven-letter word, fireman. Well, fortunately, they didn't tell him to go to blazes, even though they were, frankly, well, they were a little put out. But now he's back again, Countdown's resident bright spark, Patrick Mower. Well, I'm very pleased to say that I didn't actually disgrace myself yesterday. In fact, I really enjoyed myself. And that was mainly because holding my hand was... Frida Thornton. Thank you. <laughs> well, metaphorically, actually. And, of course, the Oxford Dictionary. Concise. <laughs> now, John Marsh and John Bird. So it might be confusing with uh, two John, so we might call you J.B. John Bird. We might not. We'll just see how it progresses. But first, it is John Marsh, J.M. to begin. Can I have a consonant, please? <laughs> yes. Thank you, John. Go ahead. And another one, please. L. And a third. And an N. And a vowel. O. And a consonant. C. And a vowel, please. I. And another vowel. A. And a consonant. H. And a consonant, please. And an S. Thank you very much. Here we go on round number one. John Marsh. Six. Six. John Bird. Six. Six apiece. John. Shoals. Shoals. Yeah. Shoals, says John and JB. Chains. Chains. Shoals, chains, six apiece. Patrick. Well, I hope this doesn't reflect on my character, but I've got seven, which is casinos. Is there anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it does reflect on your character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got six. Now, John Bird, your choice, please. Uh, Val, please. E. Consonant. Thank you. L. Consonant, please. O. Vowel. I. Vowel. A. Vowel, please. Thank you. And then I. Consonant. Z. Consonant, please. B. And another consonant, please. And an S. Thank you. The countdown starts now. And that's time, JB. Seven. Seven. John Marsh. Seven. Seven. Here, John Marsh is seven. Blazers. 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 Yeah, you've got it buttoned up with blazers. And John Bird. Small blazers. Yes, blazers. Go to blazers. You were the fireman yesterday. Go, they go to blazers, uh, well, don't they? <laughs> I did actually go to blazers. I got that one today, go to blazers. But we are uh, nothing else really, Richard, except bailers, which is a, not very... Clever word, is it? Bailers? That's all right, isn't it? Not very good. We prefer blazers. Yes, blazers. So, there we are. 13 apiece now, as we now ask John Marsh for his selection. And for the consonant, please, Cathy. Thank you. L. And another one. T. And another one, please. R. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. Y. And a vowel. 
A. And a consonant. And a G. And another consonant. M. And another consonant, please. And an S. Good. Round three, starting its very way right now. Mr. Marsh. Seven. Seven, says Mr. Marsh. Mr. Bird. Six. Six, says Mr. Bird.